The church invites hospitality. From every pew, there is a feeling of gathering around the table of the Lord. The design is simple, so that the focus is on the body of Christ gathered here to give thanks and to worship. It is only when the church fills with the people of St. George that its true beauty becomes evident. You felt welcome here. We have gathered in this sacred place that has rooted us in God's love for 57 years. It has been renovated and reconfigured four times to reflect changing times. But still, it holds the story of our faith, celebrated in word and Eucharist. It has given us comfort and forgiveness. It has witnessed our weddings, buried our loved ones, baptized our babies, loved our children. This has been our home. Today may mark the final time you sit in one of her pews. So it is with great thanksgiving for the many ways God has blessed our lives in this place that we gather for Eucharist here for one last time. Originally designed to be a school gym, the first Mass was held here in May of 1960, when Segan Lane was still a gravel road and sometimes impassable on stormy days. It was renovated to accommodate changes from the Second Vatican Council as the parish continued to grow. By 1983, the church had deteriorated and a fund drive began to remodel it again. In 1987, we moved to the school gym for masses as work on the church began. On Palm Sunday of 1988, the congregation joyfully processed from the gym to this newly renovated worship space. Our time here has been full of abundant blessings. Here on this holy ground, 7,737 adults and children have been baptized into God's love. 4,936 people have received the Holy Spirit in the Sacrament of Confirmation. 470 have been received into full communion with the Church. Some 1,526 weddings have taken place here, as well as 1,518 funerals held in hope. Three priests were ordained here, Fathers John Keeler, Tom Ranzino, and Alex Harb. At least six priests celebrated their first Masses here. Fathers Tom Ranzino, Greg Daigle, Tony Russo, Brad Doyle, Josh Johnson, and Alex Harb. Countless times, we received forgiveness here, were fed by the body of Christ, heard God's Word proclaimed, celebrated feast days, prayed, worshiped, made friends, and made plans for our future. We now come to a bittersweet end, knowing that we move forward into the promise of future, still bound together by our love and willingness to serve our Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm.